Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today, thankfully, I will hopefully, my microphones are working. I went and filmed a whole heap of content yesterday and then I got home and I realized that my microphone actually wasn't like, it wasn't working. We're having some technical difficulties. So day two of trying to get some content. Now, yesterday I did film some, some of my workouts and I will do that probably tomorrow. It's a rest day today. So now I'm going into Phuket town. I'm going to show you a few of the places that are really good for food and the best donuts in Thailand. Honestly, guys, they are so delicious. Okay, so just got into Phuket town and it is a hot one today. It is the day before New Year's Eve and I had to literally park like three blocks away because it's just so busy. It is um, high season here, so to be expected, everyone's on holidays and it is really such a great place to visit. I know I probably mentioned it before, but when I first moved to Phuket, or even when I first visited, I never really came to Phuket town itself, and I was really missing out. So if you do come, highly suggest coming here. It is such a quaint little place, really nice food, awesome coffee shops. Like the coffee is the best here in Phuket, honestly. There's like really cool spots. I think it's just like a little park to walk through and yeah it's just if you haven't been you really need to come so I figured I might just show you what the main street looks like maybe stop in for some food and then we'll go get those really good donuts okay So it is extremely hot today. So I'm really looking forward to maybe having something nice and refreshing to drink. I see there are a lot of actual little um, tea stands, even cocktail stands if you're into the day drinking. I'm still trying to, I don't really drink very often, so it's not really appealing to me, but I feel like a nice fruit smoothie or like a nice fresh Thai iced tea would be amazing right now. I'm not sure if I've mentioned before on YouTube, but I'm, I definitely have on my Instagram. The weather here at the moment is amazing. December, January, beautiful weather. So there are quite a few spots that are super, I guess, Instagram worthy. Typically, if you come, this Bink building being one of them, if you come first thing in the morning, there is a lot less people. Now it's like you literally have to line up to like wait to get a spot but really cute photos really cute little cafes there there are a lot around so just because you th that one's busy walk down the road you'll find another okay so i have eaten here before and the chicken and the pork is actually amazing. So I might just grab something a little bit to eat while we're here. Okay, so I have eaten here once or twice before. It's definitely one of my favorites to pop into if I am coming to Phuket town. The prices are really good. I mean, it's like 70, 80 baht for a dish and it is so delicious so one thing i'd highly suggest is when you're coming to thailand don't be afraid to come and try the more local i mean this isn't like this is local but it's still i guess it looks built up but definitely don't be afraid to try like the, these small little like mom and pop shop style food because they are absolutely delicious the only thing i'm usually wary about is say if I can see raw meat being left out or if the place just doesn't look clean. So use your judgment, but definitely I can highly recommend this one. Never gotten sick. 
And yeah, the food is great. On a day as hot as this, a nice fresh iced tea. So good. Okay, so the food has just arrived and it smells delicious. Now, one of the things I do usually try to prioritize is protein. So you can, a lot of the times in Thailand, it is very carb dense, but you can always order just the chicken itself. Now, I believe they call this Hainese style chicken. Sorry if I say that wrong, but it's just like this really nice boiled chicken and then they use those juices to actually make the rice. So if you are eating carbs, the rice is delicious. Definitely try. So yeah, I got one of the chicken. And then I was a little bit curious. I don't really eat pork too often, but they had roast pork and a Chinese sausage. So I thought I might be a little bit adventurous today and try that. Okay, let's see how it is. Okay, considering I'm not really a big pork fan, this roast pork is really, really tasty. I think they've given me this like really nice sauce to go with it. I'm not sure what's in it, but it is like really tasty. Mm. Definitely try, even if you don't really like pork, I would definitely give this a try. Now, for this sausage, it definitely looks, it's a different kind of sausage. This does look kind of fat. So this is not something that I typically eat regularly, but it's holidays and I, it's always good just to try something once so you know if you like it or not. So, so let's give this a try. Hmm. It has a kind of sweet taste to it. I'm not quite sure what meat it is, to be honest, though. I'm thinking maybe it's pork as well. I'm not sure. If you guys know what Chinese sausage is made out of, I could probably Google such it, but let me know in the comments. Have you tried this? Is this something that you, you like? I'm not sure. Like, I'm um, in Phuket, in Thailand in general. There's not as many Chinese food places as you think, but here in um, Phuket, there is a lot of Chinese influence and a lot of Chinese shops. So I'm finding more things like this to try and explore. Now this was the rice I was talking about. So they use that soup and cook the rice in it. And it's, it just gives it so much flavor. Like it's not just a plain rice. It is really delicious. Oops. Mm. Even though it's a small portion, it's very filling and extremely tasty. Great for the price. Bear in mind, Phuket Town might be a little bit more expensive just because of the location and it is fairly tourist populated, but it is, it's not ridiculous price or anything. So the quality you're paying, it's amazing. Just finished the food and it was great. To be honest, I am so full, but always have room for dessert. Like I said, it's holidays, I'm taking a break. And even if it isn't a holidays, I truly believe in moderation for everything. I don't really like restricting any certain foods. So yes, let's go see what donuts they have. I know, because I've been there a couple of times, not gonna lie, I'm a huge fan. They actually run out of donuts pretty quickly. So it's already like 2.30 in the afternoon here. So I'm not sure if they even have any in stock. Definitely recommend going first thing in the morning. Just like with trying to take photos, everything's a bit more relaxed because there are less people around early in the morning. Bear in mind though, a lot of things don't open until later. So that's also another factor to consider. Okay, so after eating lunch, it definitely feels like the streets have cleared out a little bit. So might be less busy early in the morning and also later in the afternoon. I think around midday lunchtime, it just gets crazy.
Okay, so this is the donut shop. It's actually directly across the road from where I did my nighttime in Phuket video, which you should check out. Okay, so when I've come today, it definitely has less donuts, but I know I have videos somewhere showing like all the range and it is just so good. So I really love actually the cream puffs here. Um, they're just like the cho pastry filled with cream. They're absolutely delicious. But even just their regular donuts are really, really tasty. Okay, so these are a couple of the yummy treats I got. Okay, so this is the Nutella one, and look at that. I think it's going to be a little bit messy. It is so good, guys. Honestly, you need to try. Messy, but definitely worth it. Okay, so I don't really know how accurate this is, but it does say trans fat free and low sugar. Well, I don't know if that's technically correct, but I'm, I'm going to go with that because these just taste too good. So tasty. Let's just hope they're low sugar. <laughs> So I thought I might be able to stop off at that little flower place to take a cute little photo or video. And even though this street is quieter, it is still packed out. Like that's how busy it gets specifically for that place. But I will try it one day. Okay, so in Phuket, or really in Thailand in general, you need to be really aware of the street signs. So for this street in particular, you can only park on certain sides, certain times of the day and certain days. So like on odd days, you can park on this side, on even days, you can park on this side. And even if you're on a motorbike, make sure you're in a motorbike parking, because I've seen so many people, they will come around and they'll clamp you and then you have to go pay a fine. Now, that's not so much of a big deal, but just if you're on a holiday, it can just add a little bit of extra unnecessary stress. If you just go around the block, find somewhere where you can actually park, save you the hassle, honestly. It's a bit of an ordeal sometimes. Having said that, if you do accidentally park somewhere where you shouldn't, they see these lines here, that's for a motorbike. So, and obviously if you're black and white is good, red and white, no good. Now, if you do get clamped or park, um, get a parking ticket. Usually you'll have to go down to the police station and you pay a fine. Now, sometimes they can try to scam you. Be mindful of that. If they tell you some ridiculously high price, say no, it should only be about 500 baht, 1,000 baht. So sometimes they might try charging 5,000 or 10,000. That's definitely not the average price. So just another thing to be mindful of. So that place, it smells amazing. So definitely one I'll have to try sometime. Really, you could probably spend the day just walking around this area because there's so many little hidden places that you wouldn't really find if you're driving or just like looking on Google Maps. Get out, explore. There are so many cool places like that soup place. Smelled amazing and I've never heard of it before. So if you have the time, get out, explore. There's so many cool things to, for you to find here. Okay guys, so I am in high supply and there are so many legal weed places now. Like ever since they legalized it, they have like popped up everywhere. 
and I found this one just by walking by and it has really cool like edibles like they have popcorn and some like brownies which is pretty standard but the popcorn was new for me I haven't seen that anywhere here in Thailand and then I also saw they have little shroom chocolates so I think even though people don't really know about it, I'm pretty sure like the legislation technically says the same thing about mushrooms being legal. I'll have to double check that, but you'll find that it's actually being sold at a lot of places, not just on like the beaches from the shroom shakes. So yeah, I found this one really cool, really cute as well. Super funky with all the different little colors. So they even have like little shots with THC, cold brew. They had some like chocolate covered co um, coffee beans, which I thought was really cool because I have a really, I don't really consume much. So I have a, such a low tolerance. I, if I have with like a coffee, it just enhances it for me. Otherwise, no joke, I am flat out. Like I am asleep. That's how low my tolerance is. But every now and again, just like with alcohol, in moderation, it can be fun. So yeah, super excited to try these cool popcorns. So yeah, like I was saying, the weed shops, they're literally like one on every single corner. So if you're from a country where it's not legal, it's definitely something fun to try. Um, in Australia, it's definitely underground. So I'm not much of a smoker anyway, so I'm not sure how easy it is to get, but literally an abundance here in Thailand. And now some fun little treats as well, which is so cool. One thing I did notice, so if you don't actually like THC, a lot of these things will come in CBD, which have all the health benefits without getting high. And I'm actually quite a big, even if I don't really consume THC very often, or like, I'm, I'm just not really a huge pothead or anything, but I'm a huge fan of the CBD. It is very calming, it has so many health benefits. So again, another benefit of Thailand and it legalizing weed. One thing that still always surprises me is actually how clean Thailand is. So I know, in the west we have this like notion that it's just not clean here whereas in when you look at the streets they actually get swept and cleaned down really regularly they probably get cleaned more than they do in western countries having said that sometimes you can like from the sewer grade smell some smells it is still a developing country but in general i do feel like the people are very clean here Okay, so that was just a little bit of Phuket town during the day. A couple of my favorite little spots. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to show you more of what's around this area. I will be doing a few videos of the main areas being like Rawai, Patong, Kamala, Kata. If you could take the time to subscribe, hit the like button and the notification, I'd be very much appreciative. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.